Hi everybody, um, today we're going to be doing a very small project for my dollhouse miniature uh, room box scene that I'm working on. I recently shared with you this. This is going to go into that scene. Um, I have a particular video for this that I created this on, so if you want to go see it, I'll put it up in the eye in the sky. You'll look up there and you'll see a little eye and you can see it. Um, I made that and then during one or two days later I made this little this little guy here this little like statue um, this was with the tiger with the tiger oh, leopard I don't know what you want to call it <laughs> but I got it from um, Shein the little metal piece it looks like a tiger then I just used a piece of wood then um, some paper that I thought resembled the ground really nice that I had and just glued him on there so he's like a little statue that I can just use anywhere in my dollhouse miniatures again um, those are available from um, Shein if you want to go look at my Shein haul I bought a lot of stuff for my dollhouse miniatures that I can use um, and that was a package of them from Shein so I'll put the Shein haul up in the eye in the sky as well so you guys go check that out and you can see all the stuff I bought to make dollhouse miniatures. You can find lots of things on there under underneath like the DIY section. And I made this. I do, okay, this also came from Shein. And it's uh, a little tiny book like this. They have lots of little things like this. Um, sometimes they're random. Sometimes you know exactly what you're going to get. So pay attention to that. Um, but this one had all these animal uh, pictures that I thought I can use for paintings in my dollhouse miniature here so let me see if I can show you just a handful of these because um, there's a lot but they're all like animal themed and they have lots of other things I do have another order heading my way I picked up little things here and there look at that zebra right okay so all this is from Shein they're all different as you can tell look at that look at that oh man that's a cool looking one very very cool um yeah so you'd be surprised at things that you could find look at that one okay so that's where I got this picture from and what I did was I added another piece of paper to it so I have these like random wood pieces and what I did was I used this one, this type of wood here that has like, it goes like big to little. Then I colored it with a dark pencil. I just used a dark pencil. I didn't use this color. I used a black and I cut it and then I made that to be the frame. Wood. Now today is something different I've never tried before. So I just did a haul for Shop Masse where I got these um, macaron markers that you see right here. They came in this package. And I almost threw this away and I was like, well, wait a minute, I always try to recycle whenever I can to make something miniature out of it. And even though it was a really big box, I was like, I wonder if I could fit one of my dollhouse miniature scruffed up, you know, Christmas trees because I wanted to make a Christmas tree box for this room scene so let's see and I love the fact that you could see it so you knew what it was it does fit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut it as carefully as I can up here then I'm going to seal it off and then what I want to do is add where's my fabric I know it's like I'm all over the place I wanted to use like this plaid fabric that I got from um, Crafter Square. I know I have other fabrics. I have other fabrics, you guys. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't know if I put them in here. Let me see. I might have put it in there. I know this is a craft with me type of video, so we're going to be all over the place with each other. Because this is just me getting my craft on. And like I always say, I always start going in one direction. always end up going another. But I know this is something I've wanted to do for a while. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. 
Okay, so what I did is I cut off these little top pieces right here. Then I made slits. You see that? On all four sides. Because what I did not want to do, all four sides, hopefully I got them the same size. I don't want to compromise this whole look right here because I want to be able to see the tree. I want to be able to see the tree. So let me see if I was able to accomplish what I wanted because I wanted to be able just to like fold it. You see that? I want to be able just to fold it just like a package, fold it, and fold it because I don't want this plastic piece to break. Okay, I think that's going to work. You see that? I think that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little glue here on these flaps for now. Okay, so while this is trying to hold, maybe I can put it upside down over here. Okay, so while that's trying to hold, I'm going to open up this fabric from the Dollar Tree. So let's open up this fabric. You can use any color fabric. You could do a solid green. You could do whatever you got. I'm just using what I have. And I kind of want like this little vintage -y feel. Here we go. So we're going to take the box. And I'm going to eyeball this. Like how much I might need for this. Okay, so I think I'm just going to cut it right here right here along this line over here so now we have our fabric now if you're the type of person that really needs everything to be you know perfect you might want to go ahead and iron this I will not be ironing anything I don't my, like my husband says I have an iron deficiency I don't iron now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it along this line right here. So I'm trying to like to hurry up with you guys. I don't want to have y'all just hanging out forever. Now, if I were to a start here, gluing here, you see that? Then I want to make sure I have enough fabric to cover that. Do you see that? Okay. All right, so let's see how this is going to work. And see that end is still trying to come off, so it's still trying to dry. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible with you guys. Then let's just smooth out this, this glue. Okay, so I'm going to do it with my hand here. I'm going to smooth it out. And then I'm going to line this back up again to the edge here because I want to see the tree. I want to take advantage of that clear plastic and I want to see that tree. Okay. There we go. So you see what my method of insanity is. I'm trying to do that, okay? So I'm going to continue to work on this, and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I was able to line it up really nicely in the back here on the side. Now I had to cut a large chunk off here, and I'm going to glue this little portion down right here. As soon as my glue decides to come out, smooth it out with my finger. So I want a nice, smooth feel. There we go. Perfect. Nice, smooth feel. There we go. Now, I'm going to decide what I want to do here on the edges, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where I'm at so far. So I was able to do the end of it very nicely, as you can tell. Then I just need to put a little bit more glue over here. So it's looking good. Now, I, I cut a little piece right here to cover up this portion, but I want it to line it up with the pattern. Another good thing about having a pattern, you can line things up so it looks more neat. Okay, guys, so I was finally able to finish up my box, my storage box for my Christmas tree. That's going to be in the attic, and this is what it looks like. One end actually looks better than the other, as you can tell. But 
it served its purpose. Um, I was able to recycle a package <laughs> that looked like this to do what I wanted to do. Then I just flattened out a piece of the fabric, glued it together so I can create a carrying handle here on the side. So I want to have the carrying handle here on the side like so. So I'm going to glue this down and um, I'm going to glue this down right here. We want that end to go right here. And I made sure I made it flat. Now I do want it just to come up just a little bit but not too much. I think that would be a good look so you could tell it needs to be carried. I thought about doing a different handle color, but I don't want it. I don't want a handle to take away from the fact that I made a storage box for my Christmas tree just until we're ready to use it. There we go. So there's the handle. There's my Christmas box. And here's my storage box for my Christmas tree. Yay! Now I do want to create a wreath holder a matching wreath holder for my Christmas room box scene that I'm making the attic scene that I'm making is still the glue is still trying to dry but you can see what you can do with the things that you have at home and recycling and not letting things go back out there into the earth and just keeping it right at home and getting creative with it honestly so I hope you guys enjoyed that talk to y'all later bye